So the 701, we all get it, it's a great on-road and off-road dual sport. Wait, let me rephrase that. It is a great dirt bike off-road and somewhat of a dual sport on-road. Yeah, the performance off-road is that good. But let's go ahead and take a closer look on the 701. What can we do to increase the comfort of the 701 or maybe let's take a look at the CRF 250L Rally. Because the 701 Enduro, the ergonomics, how it's shaped, how it feels, and how it handles, I can't really say it's dual sport quality. It's more of a dirt bike type of feel. What's going on everybody? Rod with Will here. I got my Husky 701 that I'm just exploring out today. And you know, since I'm out here on this trail, I'm out in Corvona, Corvona Pass or something like that. Woo! Super sandy out here. This is all like straight up thick sand. Look at that bridge! Woo! I didn't really care too much about too much power. The only reason I got this one was so I could hit uh, highway speeds. Actually, I'm going to say it is a dirt bike. Just because you put a plate on it, some lights, some blinkers, and dual sport maintenance, I'm not going to really say it's a dual sport. Because comfort really belongs in that equation as well. Now I'm going to say this, it's not as comfortable as a true dual sport unless you're willing to spend some change on it. And even then, it still does not feel like a CRF 250L Rally. DRZ400S, not the E, or for that matter, the KLX 250 on the road. All these three dual sports are more comfortable on the road because, well, I own them all. Except the Rally, other than riding it and seeing it on the trails and trying it for myself. Hill climb on the snow! <laughs> But I'm gonna say this by far, the most comfortable dual sport out there, not considering big ADV bikes like the BMW GS, it's gonna be quite a shocker, it's actually the CRF 250L Rally. When I took this thing on the road down the Highway 21, I was pretty impressed how well this bike feels just like a street bike. It was crazy comfortable. The ergonomics, the shape, the fairings, the windscreen, and the distributed weight created a perfect recipe for an awesome on-road comfort and capable off-road because I've seen the CRF 250L do very good out on the trails. We took some pretty tough single track and it performed. So what is it that we are looking for? And what I mean by we, I'm talking about us dual sport riders and light adventure riders. We're looking to explore and challenge ourselves on some technical trails. Now, some of us might even want to try out single track just for the little bit of extra challenge. Now, I cannot speak for everyone because, well, everyone has different wants and needs, but I do know many people can relate. So essentially, the 701 has the power, the off-road capabilities, the reliability, the good maintenance intervals, but uh, the on-road characteristics is not there to a, a full extent of a dual sport. I'm gonna say the 701 is more of a dirt bike than a dual sport in my opinion. And in my personal thought, I think it would be the CRF 250L Rally with the engine, gear and suspensions of the 701 Enduro. Essentially, just swap out the fairings and the windscreen and the ergonomics of the uh, CRF 250L Rally, attach it to the 701 Enduro, and I think we have ourselves a unicorn bike in the dual sport world. You know, I'm, I'm actually out here, and in all honesty, sure, I got the 701. It's a really nice dirt biking machine too. And you don't really need the power of the 701 here. So I've never been out here. I'm just exploring. Hop on this road and man, and all honestly, I have no idea what kind of difficulty this trail is. I guess it's probably easy, you know, intermediate. Wow, beautiful forest ride. Two 
two passes and then hop on single track and just explore and all that stuff. 